So you've removed malware, spyware, viruses and trojans from your system but your internet is now not working and you need to get it back up and running. What I'm going to do is show you how to clean up and repair after a malicious software infection from malware, spyware or trojans or something of that nature. So what we need to do first is run CCleaner or window washer or decrapifier, something like that, one of those programs or whatever program you use to clean off any files temporary internet files, cookies, history and all that sort of stuff okay and then just run this actual cleaner okay now I'm not going to bother running it but that's what you need to do is run that once we've done that we can now start taking a look at the browser itself now we're going to take a look at the Internet Explorer and Firefox browser so the first one we'll look at is Internet Explorer and as I said we need to go tools internet options here and what you need to do is make sure the web uh, location for your home page is what you've set it to. Mine is set to Google. Make sure it's not put in any redirect to another website, as in where sites or something of that nature. Change that. You can actually come to advanced if you want and reset back to default settings. This will reset the Internet Explorer settings back to default. Okay, and we need to do is come to the security tab and check trusted sites. Come into trusted sites here. Make sure there's nothing that's dodgy in there. That shouldn't be there okay if there is click on it and remove okay check the restricted sites also anything in there that shouldn't be there click on it and remove now if you're not comfortable in knowing what to remove and what not to remove then you can actually use uh, a little file a little INF file right click open I'll show you what it is it's made by this guy Mike Burgess and uh, basically what you do is you clean up all the restricted uh, trusted uh, zone which is what we was just talking about there. It would actually do that for you. All we need to do is right click and install like so and it will do it all for you. Okay. So one last thing you need to check inside Internet Explorer is your add-ons. So check and manage your add-ons. I would come in here and make sure there's nothing that shouldn't be in there. Now if there's something that you don't like that shouldn't be in there then just click on disable. Okay. Click on that and disable or uninstall it altogether. Okay. So let's have a little look uh, uh, Firefox. We'll come into Firefox. Same thing, really. Check your add-ons. Uh, you can check add-ons in Tools, add-ons. Same thing. Add-ons and plugins, or extensions and plugins. Make sure everything's okay. If it's not, get rid of it. Disable it. Also, you may want to come into About Config, like so. And once in there, you should see a sign saying "Here be dragons." Say. I'll be careful I promise click on that type in their keyword dot URL and uh, there you will see now if this has been changed you can right click and reset here it's greyed out because obviously it's not been changed but if it has you can reset it but also you can either modify it yourself and put in what you like okay okay so what we need to do now is go tools options and you can actually check your security settings as well you've got exceptions in there as well you can actually check if you wanted to and also what I would check next is if my Firefox was not working I would check Internet Explorer just to make sure and if vice versa if Internet Explorer is not working I would download and install Firefox just to check okay just to make sure next thing I would do is check the host file um, not sure if I did the host file but what we need to do is go to my computer C drive and then Windows and system 32 if I can see it there we go and drivers and ETC as you can see what we're going to do is delete the host file now the host file is normal uh, normally uh, attacked by malware and it normally either makes changes or corrupts it so you can either just get a new one by clicking on this uh, host expert you can get that from funkytoad.com straight away it's recognized as one not on there so click OK and basically this will now create a new host file for us click on restore MS host file click OK and there we have our new host file so now we know that's been fixed we can now move on to applications so if you want to actually use an application you could actually use something in the region of WinSock Fix. Now, WinSock Fix is a little 
uh, application you can actually download and it actually try to fix the the windsock okay so you just click on fix and it will go through its little process disable the internet and then try to repair okay now if you do not have any joy with that you can actually make a backup here if you do not have any joy from that you can actually use a program called LSP fix now LSP fix is layered service provider and what it's going to do is sometimes you can actually see a DLL file here that's been created by some sort of malware or something like that if it is you can actually click on it put in here I know what I'm doing click on the actual rogue file that shouldn't be in there and move it across to the remove okay and then click finish and it will remove that file if there's nothing there that's dodgy then just click on finish and it will actually try to repair what's going on and as you can see there's no problems found the one I've used more than anything and I found more successful out of all of them is this ICR tool okay once you click on it you'll get this internet connection repair and basically all you need to do is run a test click on run test it will run through some uh, checking network settings uh, checking local uh, connection and also checking the ISP connection and so on and so on. It'll run through and check your browser settings as well and make sure everything is how it should be. If it is, it will give you all ticks. If there's a problem, it will fix the problem. Okay, so this is a really good way of uh, fixing your internet connection and hopefully you should be back up and running uh, after running some of these tests. Okay, so let me just make sure that's uh, finished off. Okay, that's finished. So I hope this uh, video has been some use to you. These are just some basic steps to take if you want to get back up and running after you've been infected by malware and your internet is not running. So my name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. I hope you enjoy these videos. Also, subscribe to my channel and uh, rate for all my videos. Have a happy new year to everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.